Wizards of the Coast has decided to cancel the double-sided foil tokens for Friday Night Magic. What happens next? <music> Greetings owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles and welcome to my update on FNM promos. So, Wizards of the Coast has decided to discontinue the double-sided foil tokens. So, starting roughly, what was it, four months ago, Wizards decided to stop giving out particular cards and instead opt to give out tokens that were keyed to the set. So basically the set, the newest set and standard, I should say. So what they did starting with Ixalan was they said, okay, Friday Night Magic, now your promos are going to be these double-sided tokens. So on one side, it would have something like a merfolk and on the other side, it would have a treasure token, right? And this month's token, for example, is the city's blessing token that has the token for the rekindling phoenix on the other side. So these are the kind of tokens they were giving out. And how it was working was once every three months they were mailing out a batch of these to the stores going, okay, use these for the first, second, and third month. So they would change each month. So four tournaments or five, if there was five Fridays in the month, would result with people getting tokens instead of the cards they used to give out. They have determined very, very quickly, obviously, that this is not working for them. So you can see it. It's just a tiny, tiny little blurb on their website. They want to let people know, but they don't want to trumpet their mistake because they made the change so quickly. So, I mean, should not say quickly. They made the change so recently that people are going to look at it and go, oh, you guys, you guys did this four months ago. Hold on. You did it four months ago. We're still doing it for two more months and you know it's a failure already? Yikes, the numbers. It must have really not done what they wanted it to. They're doing a lot of like random flailing, it seems like, in terms of they introduced buy a box packs for Ixalan, then they introduced treasure packs for Ixalan just to be bought with Ixalan, but quickly, quickly changed that to expand to buy any box at all and you can get these treasure packs. And I think those treasure packs kicked around for so long too that they all diminished the impact of the standard showdown packs because you get the same cards across them. Fewer people come out to standard showdowns. So all this stuff that they're throwing out there is having a diminishing returns impact. And this attempt to change the FNM promos before into these tokens was a terrible mistake. Now, I didn't say so before because genuinely, I didn't think it was. I had seen the uh, the cards for the longest time and I thought the tokens were a novel change. I liked the idea that unlike other cards, like if you're playing a deck that generates a whole bunch of tokens, then you could theoretically want more than four of a card. So I thought it was entirely possible that people may want like 10 of a token or something like that. And so there would be more ability to trade these, but that really did not bear out. That did not turn out to be the case. I noticed people after getting their promos at FNMs just handing them off to people not caring about them. So clearly that's bearing out in the numbers for Wizards as well across the board. They have instituted the change. What are they going to do next? Well, they're going back to what they did before. Basically, they're going to release cards specifically that are available now only in the standard environment. So I think before sometimes they strayed out of it to do some modern stuff or whatever, but they say now they're going to focus specifically on making FNM promos standard legal. And I wouldn't be surprised at all, considering what happened was they had Fatal Push as the last FNM promo, guys. Fatal Push, a foil Fatal Push with alternate art, which was arguably better than the original art. So they ended up going out at the start, they were $25. They drifted down to $15. But either way, that's a significant FNM card. So they must have seen a drop off after that. I would not be surprised to see these cards come back and when they bring back the FNM promo cards, they're probably going to want to start strong. So they're probably going to be eyeing cards of value. That's my guess. I could be wrong on that, but going forward, there will be one more month because we're in February. So when I said two months, I'm counting this month because we're almost like just starting this month, right? So we've got basically two full months left of the tokens. And then we will be returning to actual proper promos in, uh, what is it? What's what? It's February right now. So April. At the beginning of April is when they'll be rolling out regular promos again, which is great because like I said, I thought tokens were going to be a big deal but they're not, and it turns out I don't really give a crap about them either. So I'm glad they're getting rid of them. Anyways, thanks for coming by and listening to what God told me to tell you. We'll see you later. Together, we are the, the Sixth six color, color of Magic. magic.
with the best magic! <laughs>